Tom, how does it feel to, to be back fit again and back in around the first team? Yeah, really good. Um, it's been a long time out, very frustrating time for me. Um, but now I'm back on the pitch, back what I do, uh, I love doing. Um, it's always great. Yeah. Um, h- how close to, to full fitness are you? Would you say you're 100%? Are you almost there? What do you think? Um, I'm not far off, yeah. Obviously, match fitness is completely different to training every day. Obviously, I had a few behind closed doors games that's helped me out a lot with my fitness based stuff. So, yeah, I'm not too far off, and um, hopefully, if I get a chance, um, I can show that I'm back to my old self. Rangers fans were really impressed with the start you made to last season when you first came to the club. Obviously, you then had that injury. How big an impact do you think you personally can have on the rest of the campaign here? Um, hopefully a massive one, um, but it's not just me, it's, it's the whole team, it's what we do as a collective, um, that's the main thing and I'll try and do my bit for the team um, as well as every other, other person in that dressing room, so yeah. What have you made of, of the club starts the season so far? Um, it's been a difficult one, it's been a difficult one, but look, we're, we're looking up now, um, we can't look in the past, we've got to look at, at tomorrow's game um, and that's all we can do really, we've got to a good few weeks coming up, um, tough games, but it's what we enjoy doing. Michael talks a lot about building a new attack at the club, there's four or five senior attackers left over the summer. Obviously you coming back in, it's almost like a new signing. How, how much do you relish the chance to, to put your kind of mark, your stamp, your authority on, on that new attack? And do you see yourself, could you be a key part of that going forward? Um, well, I hope so. <laughs> but no, it's if you get that shirt, on a Saturday, a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you have to deliver. Um, we've got a big squad now, so every time you're you're out there, you have to deliver for the team. And if you don't, then that's the way it is. Tom, what was the players' reaction to the fans' anger at the end of the Celtic game? Yeah, we can't get past. Everyone was disappointed. Um, the whole changing room was really down after the game. Uh, a few honest uh, conversations with everyone, um, but we have to look forward now. Um, we know what it means to the fans. And we were gutted we couldn't get a result from. How surprising was it the kind of depth of anger? Uh, yeah, it's always difficult. Um, we know how big them games are. Um, it hurts us. It hurts the fans. It hurts everyone to do with the club. Um, so we know if if we don't get a result in that game, it's going to hurt everybody. Have you that couple of weeks time? Is that giving the players time to kind of get over it and focus on tomorrow? Um, we've been trying to look forward. Like we, we have to have honest conversations with ourselves in the changing room, um, and that's what we have done. Um, and that's how we're we're going to come out of this and and look forward. Is that conversations between the players or between the manager and the players? Uh, yeah, just everyone as a collective. It's it's a whole group. It's a group thing. Uh, we have to be better. Who's been the main figures in terms of the players that have you led those conversations, and what's the key messages been? Uh, I'm not going to go into individuals, um, but. Like I say, it's been this one we spoke about, and look, all we can do is look forward to the next game and, and deliver in that game. Is that something as an experienced player yourself, and obviously been around the game a long time? Is that something you look to you know, try and get chip into and like lead by example in that manner? Yeah, look, we've got we've got a lot of new new faces here, and playing for this club is a big pressure. But you have to um, you have to deliver when you play for this club, and um, the fans fans deserve that. So that's what we'll look to do. What did you observe, Tom, of the, the new players, the new attackers that have come in? Obviously, you were here last season. A lot of new players in the summer. What did you observe of your new players at the top of the pitch? Yeah, they've all got their own, own different qualities. Um, look, I, I know I've moved clubs different parts. Um, it's always difficult to settle in. But I think I think we had the pre-season. We've had, what is it, nine games, ten games? You have to start delivering at some point, so... I think they'll look forward to doing that. This club has unique pressure. How important is it for you as, as having experience being a new player, getting those results to buy yourself time to, to show what you really can do, to show your best performances? Yeah, I mean, if you don't like pressure, this, this isn't the club for you. You have to thrive off that pressure. Um, that's something, being a year out, I've, I've missed that so much. You can't find that anywhere else, but getting on that pitch in front of the fans, um, so I just can't wait to get back doing it week in, week out. What was what it like, take us inside what it's like for a player when you move up here, it's a big move for you and you have to spend a year out, presumably very difficult, but take us inside what that's actually like for, for a football player. How long have we got? Um, yeah, it's, it's difficult. Obviously the start I had, it was, it was really positive. We qualified for the Champions League, um, we were playing well. Um, and then you, you get an injury and it's hard because 
it was different stages of the injury. Um, so you have to look short term rather than long term if you get me if you get what I mean. Um, so it's just them little key things that you can look forward to, like little aims, little goals uh, that keep you going really. But no ready to make up for the last time. Definitely. Tom, it seemed like there was a lot of kind of setbacks in this injury that you would, you would have when you're nearly coming back back in training. Then it happens again. How tough was that? You almost feel you're nearly there, and then you're set back again. Uh, yeah, that was probably the most difficult thing because you think that it's going to heal and, and be fine and then it's another setback. So then you're waiting for another thing and it's another setback. Um, and yeah, it was just it was just really disappointing. I was working so hard in the gym and then for it not to come to fruition, um, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't good. Was it always reassuring them to have the manager mention your name? So at, at any time... And press here, he would always say, oh, Tom Lawrence still will come back, Kim Ruff still will come back, so that you were never forgotten, but you were always in, in the manager's plans, even though you were out for such a long time. Yeah, the manager's been great great with me. Um, he's always kept me kept me in his plans and, and told me what he thinks. He's seen me as a, as a young kid playing for Man United um, growing up, so he knows, he knows my game really well, and um, it's always good to have that. When you're injured, you're kind of to the side a little bit, um, but to know you've got the managers uh, back in it is great. So what did he say to you when he first came into the club? Did he, did he pull you aside for a separate chat about, about that? It's over a year ago, that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't remember too much of the detail, but um, it was definitely a positive chat. Tom, you talked about the kind of supporters' anger after the game, immediately after Celtic. I just wonder how where you are of the backlash since then. Um, well, look, it, it all hurts us. I've, I've said that. Like, it hurts. No matter how we look at it, it hurts. We've we've lost a game, and a big game at that. Um, but all we can do now is work on that training field and look forward to the next game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.